Welcome back to Lesson Geek. My name is Travis. And I'm Peyton. And this is the next video in our regional preparation series. Today we're going to be focusing mostly on Suntir Fell. Um, we've got a couple different builds where they both contain him. We're going to start with uh, pairing him with a Decimator, which likely will be uh, Chirinu. Um, so right here we've got the uh, ubiquitous uh, push a limit on Fell. You know, you're not going to play him without that. And then the Royal Guard title to give them the two modification slots. Auto Thrusters, which of course is basically the uh, meta-defining card that's brought the Interceptor back from the dead. And uh, probably a Stealth Device. You get so much uh, mileage out of it with the synergy with that and the Auto Thruster. Um, I could see having maybe a, a shield or something to try to make him survive a little longer against uh, some direct crits from a Vader crew or something like that, but usually the stealth device. Over here on the uh, decimator, we've got the engine upgrade. Uh, really, you re you got to be able to boost to uh, dodge the marks, and it probably increases the survivability of it more than anything. Um, right here, we happen to have Gunner and Vader as some of the crew options there. Obviously, Yusei Nassar is another one that should almost always be in there. Um, Rebel Captives. Rebel Captives is another good choice. You know, you've got some options there. Uh, Predator is a good option with the, you know, the elite pilot slot. Um, you do spend a lot of times taking target locks, so that's kind of redundant. But every time you boost, it's nice to have it around. Uh, you, you'll be doing that a lot too to dodge arcs and a lot of matchups. Um, you could have maybe veteran instincts on there. Uh, that could be good for mirror matches uh, or you know something, anything else that has soon tier in it, um, just so he doesn't know exactly where you're going, or maybe you can arc dodge him. Um, and uh, even determination is a pretty good choice on a uh, decimator since they have so you know such a huge amount of hole. And there's a lot of stuff that dishes out crits now with uh, Mangor cannons and um, if anybody else is playing yeah, other Vader crew. <laughs> and uh, soon there'll be the Vader Ty Vance feeding crits to you. So, um, but yeah, so you know there's some options you can go with there. Um, with this uh, build, uh, as far as matchups go. Um, if you are playing it against, uh, like, a Falcon, um, I feel like you definitely have the edge. Uh, most Falcon builds, you know, if they're still playing, like, a Fat Han with some Z95s, uh, Han, pound for pound, is a little stronger than the Decimator. Yeah. But Suntir is just a beast against, uh, you know, the turret. turrets. Yeah, it's, you know, if they, if they have Gunner and Predator and all that stuff, they might be able to push some damage through on them. But even then, your dice can be better and... They don't have something like Vader that can guarantee hits. I think know? in that matchup, you have to really watch your maneuvering with yeah. uh, Sunter because if you get caught behind the Falcon, you're you're not in a good position. You need to get away from, you know, following him. You know, follow the leader yeah. with him because you're going to end up either ramming into him, losing your your tokens. Right. Because even if you if you have no tokens and he gets to shoot you twice because he probably has Gunner, yeah, then you can still be killed. Right. He's also probably going to try to whip out a bunch of K turns to get you in his front arc. So I would be wary of that. Yeah, Falcon players may start doing that to uh, try to counter auto thrusters a little bit, because uh, especially if they think they can get maybe a couple of turns out of it, you know, where they're got you in arc. Yeah. Um, he's he's going to be good at handling like Z ninety fives, of course, and uh, you know they're you don't want them swarming the uh, Chirinu there. Maybe you can engine upgrade away from them. Um, you can, uh, I, I guess if there's a Falcon that's got maybe Corn Horn instead, um, he could be a little more of a threat. Uh, Corn can obviously pour a lot of damage in one round into the Decimator if he gets in a good spot. He might have veteran instincts and be kind of annoying when, with the pilot skill. Also outmaneuvering Sunther. Yeah, if he's got veteran instincts, yeah. Um, if it's a build where he's got like push a limit and jam grade, you know, it makes him more maneuverable and gives him more options overall. But specifically against Soon Tier, that would actually be good for you because you've got the higher pilot skill. Um, Vader can also be critical to help you try to like burn Corn down in one round. You know, you, you you blast his shields off, and then before he gets to recharge, you know, you lay that crit in there, and that could be the killing blow. Yeah. Um, this build against uh, random swarm lists or B wings, you know, some low pilot skill, uh, just kind of efficient ships like that. Um, you you definitely have an advantage with soon tier. Uh, you have to make sure you can kind of thread through them without getting blocked. That's the main thing you want to watch out for. You there, kinda, you kind of you're taking care of one ship's problem 
by the advantages of the other. Yeah. Because, you know, obviously Chirinu is going to get worked down pretty hard if he gets caught by the swarms at all. Yeah. He's going to get vaped, basically. Yeah, that's the matchup where, like, engine upgrade is most important. It's critical that you have the ability to boost, and uh, you don't head straight into them. You want to be kind of moving, you know, either with them behind you or kind of laterally. So a boost gets you out of range or out of arc of several of them. Yeah, so at least, yeah, a couple. Because even one or two is worth not taking any other action trying to do more damage. Oh, yeah just to get out of one or two arcs even. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, that, that's where like a boost is like taking four of eight actions. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's the best thing. Um, a uh, mirror match, um, again, maybe veteran instincts would be handy uh, for the for the pilot skill on say the, the Chirinu there on the decimator. Uh, you could potentially arc dodge uh, their soon tier. Um, obviously Vader would, if that's one of the you know crew that you have is awesome for trying to take out soon tier yeah um you know they they may not have if you have vader and they don't and let's say you kill their soon tier and they kill your decimator and it's your soon tier it's still on the table against theirs and they don't have vader then you know it's just like the falcon they may struggle even with gunner or whatever to get through the auto thrusters and all if, if the dice are hot you know um uh, a uh, straight up interceptor list that's got maybe soon tier and multiple other ones yeah but you're you're, you're definitely uh you're you're, in, you're a good yeah shape you're in good you're shape running, you're running against that because they're going to try to you know take down uh Chirinu as fast as possible yeah they can't let, let him live vadering them every turn yeah that's what he, that's what they need to do anyway and sometimes they may not even you know be able to yeah while soon <laughs> your sooner is running around taking out their yeah. you know their number one ship yeah basically free reign yeah it, what they have to do against this to have any prayer at all is to make sure that on the first turn that any shots are fired, all three of their interceptors have to be able to shoot the decimator and focus it. Otherwise, you're just going to get too many turns to Vader. And uh, even then, if you manage to kill their soon tier and you've got the other two interceptors that they're playing against yours and he's got the pilot skill advantage, you might still be able to take them all out. Yeah, you, um, you have a, a very good chance. Right. Uh, and uh, so then we can move on to discussing having maybe a full-on interceptor build with soon tier on that note so let's say we bring in a couple of these guys you definitely would probably have one royal guard generic in there um yeah maybe connor jacks uh you could even have turf in for one of them um but uh you know you'd have to give up some sort of upgrade at this point because like you could play uh all three of these ships here with this upgrade suite on them, yeah. and that's 99 points. So you'd have to give up a stealth device to be able to you know, maybe turn the Royal Guard into a third named pilot. But then you come again to the to the mirror match, and you kind of can't really do initiative bids if you right. have 99 points. Yeah. Um, you could actually play just two generic Royal Guards here with Soon Tier, because I'm going to assume Soon Tier is you know, locked in stone. That's the point of this video. Yeah. But uh, then you're, you're looking at a 95 point build. You give up Connor Jax's ability, which is a very good ability, but uh, it's kind of tricky to maximize sometimes, um, you know, staying in range one or whatever. I think it's really strong in the matchups that it matters in, and then kind of useless in the other ones. Yeah. But that would give you just the ultimate initiative bid at 95 points right now. Um, and uh, you, then that way, like, your Royal Guards now can move after IGD-8s, which is an you know, important, you know, matchup there. Yeah. Um, we, didn't, we didn't touch on that with the uh, Decimator, but uh, th th this build would fare much better against it because all three are able to kind of outmaneuver them and try to pick at them. With uh, the Decimator paired with Soontir, it was actually a very bad matchup. Because well, Decimator is basically meat. You're just going to get vaped in probably five turns. Yeah, you have to be much more uh, suicidal with Vader almost because, like, there's almost nothing you can do. Occasionally, you might be able to boost out of some arcs. But other than that, like, the Decimator is going to go down to those things. And uh, so you might as well just flog it with <laughs> Vader uh, as, as much as you can because if, if you can more or less trade one, then you're in good shape. Soon tier one-on-one -on -one will be all right. But when it's soon tier against both of them and they still have a good amount of health, you're in trouble. Yeah. Um, I actually would probably prefer right now because of that running this to the soon tier decimator, which is one of the most popular builds, like one that everybody likes. It's like a top tier build, and it, it can still definitely win a lot. I do think it's good, but I think this is like sneaky good. 
flying on the radar a bit. I think the Sooner with Chirnu is the, definitely the more generic player trying to cover right. all your bases. This yeah. one has kind of really good and then really bad matchups. They're not very generic. You know, there's not... Right. But I can always win every match. Right. They definitely have some matches where they just lose straight out, which is ironically against Chirinu and Vader. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of like a pick your poison. You know, if you're seeing a lot more of those builds still around with the Decimator, specifically with Vader as a crew choice, then this would not be a good call. But if you're seeing more IGD-8, stick with uh, Chirinu and your own Vader alongside Soontier. So that's going to wrap up our... Uh, coverage of this squad in this video and uh, we'll be back soon with some more uh, regional preparation videos with other squads and if you like this give us a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time